Salve, salve rapaziada, sejam todos bem-vindos a mais um vídeo aqui do canal Liga Geral No vídeo de hoje a gente vai estar tá vendo aí teaser que saiu sobre as novas aventuras Que vão sair daqui 15 dias e também sobre o Empório Pirata A nova atualização que vai chegar no Sea of Thieves Então se isso não te interessa, já deixa o seu like, se inscreve no canal, ativa a notificação para não perder nenhum vídeo novo E nenhuma live que acontece lá na roxinha, das 11 até umas 5, 6 horas da tarde, de a sexta, tá bom? Ah, bora pro vídeo Uh, bom galera, a gente não vai assistir hoje o vídeo original Porque o Targas, Targas BR, ele está legendando esses vídeos pra vocês Então a gente vai assistir diretamente pelo canal dele E eu vou deixar o link dele aqui na descrição também Eu acho que dá pra eu colocar aqui no card ou em algum lugar aqui Eu consigo colocar também esse vídeo original pra vocês clicarem Tá tendo vídeo praticamente semanal no canal dele É um dos canais mais ativos e self-tives do Brasil hoje Logicamente, depois da nossa ligação então, a gente vai assistir o vídeo pelo canal dele aqui, então bora lá, mano. Bora! Beleza! Ó, oh, os espíritos! A missão que eles já mostraram, o tornado lá, né, que a gente... É louco, tá? Sea of Thieves Legend of the Veil. Vale. O que, que é Veil? Vale? The Legend of the Veil vale is a brand new void that is exclusive to Pirate Legends. And it's this hybrid between the best bits of Tall Tales, the music, the voiceovers, the characters, the storyline. And then it's the best part of Voyages as well. The kind of infinite replayability. Olha, o mapa colorido, que bonito! Ah, que da hora, eles vão fazer coisas com, com as imagens das paredes, tá ligado? Nossa, mais uma coisa que os inscritos... Ah, o cara com a, com a máscara! Que legal! Eles estão incentivando os players que são já, né, lendas a jogarem com novatos, ensinar, né? place the quest down and then we all join in you get the lovely banners and this time around we actually have a new Olha, que da hora nessa. We created something that's slightly ambiguous in tone where it's you're not quite sure where it's major minor and then it goes into a little major tone because the ancients are on the side of the pirate lord and when you start off the quest you Caraca. meet the pirate lords and you're helping him to uncover the gems that belong to the veil of the ancients mask and each chapter will uncover a new gem that you can place into this mask that then kicks off a new cut scene with the pirate lords and you really feel like you're getting Que da hora vai ser uma máscara tipo show de break que você vai ter que encontrar as partes dela para montar e ativar ela We'll kind of shuffle them up and give you a different selection of them so every time you play you get a new experience and there's a ton of different gameplay types within each of those modules The quest itself is structured into like three chapters And the ending is always the same. We wanted that to be this huge. O final é sempre o mesmo. Mas os dois primeiros capítulos vai vai ter variantes. We have three specific quests based around solving maps. One of the big difference here with the Pirate Legends is they really know the world well. Que legal. Nossa, que da hora, que da hora, que da hora. Vai ser mais difícil. Only people who know the game really well will be able to tell even what the island is, because normally when you get an island, you can check it out on the map. But these are like a really zoomed in little section of it. Pirate Legends are the dedicated players who will understand. Oh, oh yeah, I can that little bit of that island. Oh yeah, I know that. Que legal, cara. Eu gostei muito disso. Players will get to see images drawn by studs of the islands in the Sea of Thieves. They will have to then depict those images and try and find out which island that's on and then once they find that out specifically where the treasure is hidden. We have this thing that internally we're calling the lying maps, which is where uh, our old friend Suds has kind of recorded <laughs> All of the ancient uh, drawings Mapa da mentira. on the island, but has noticed that he's got one of them Mapa wrong. Da maybe it's up to the players to figure out which one he's got wrong or why the ancients got that wrong, and maybe there's some treasure buried there. Que legal isso, né? De você cavar de uma forma diferente, de você ter que encontrar o baú de uma forma diferente. So there's kind of this cluster of all these different wrecks, and they're all orientated at different angles, and it can be a little bit disorientating at first, but 
There's a number of different wrecks and they've got all these kind of interesting mechanisms inside them that, that hide away these secret compartments no, on the ship. So we get to go. use like, the wreckage pieces and the dying lights flicker in to breadcrumb you through the scene. And then you've got to avoid sharks and you run out of air. So it's, it leads to this fast paced gameplay that's really exciting to the players. The player's objective is to Retrieve que legal! Vai poder cabin, interagir com as coisas dentro dos navios, mano. Pô, mano, isso daí tá, deixa, tá dando aquele brilho no, no CIA, tá? And then we have Haunted Islands, which is a spooky, mysterious experience on some of our more beautiful islands in Sea of Thieves. So as you approach, the lighting will change, the mood kind of shifts to meet more Isso ghostly tá legal, and eerie. Né? Players will search the island and, and meet Belle, who will ask for the player's help and aid them in finding another one of the Veil Stones, which is what you need to complete the voyage. So you've got these ghostly statues and Belle gives you a lantern to help you light them and Vai find them. And these have like massive shock waves that come off of them to kind of guide you towards which one to light. Nossa, and once you get to the final hora. one, you'll see like a ritual. There's, there's the ancients, they're kind of doing this like Ritual bowing down to this Cara, que insano isso de, de contar a história dos antigos agora. The phantoms and the phantoms turn up, but what's nice about this one is the ancients also come to help you out, so you're not alone in the fight. Law-wise, this pirate Genial, is really velho. exciting. The ancients, the civilization that was before the Sea of Thieves for the first time ever, you get to meet them in spectral Mano, form. isso para quem? Mano, para really quem curte a lore, mano, isso é um bagulho. Insano, velho. Years and years, and you finally get to meet them. Mano, é isso, tá ligado? Pô, os antigos, so os antigos estão em tu, tudo. The Soul Flame Captain, where we've actually added a new layer of music, which is based off of the Soul Flame Captain, but there's a new boss wave music which comes along, which as we usually do, we put in the Sea of Thieves theme, but in that style of that music. So you'll hear that, and hopefully your blood's gonna be pumping. I'm ready to fight the last boss. Mano, mas essa sensação aí de, de treta assim nos fortes, tá? Ó. Mission accomplished. The third and final chapter of the Veil of the Ancients is always the same. It's always this huge, epic encounter where players send sail towards this tornado in the middle of the ocean. And it's super dark and there's loads of rain and there's all these kind of phantom ghost ships surrounding this haunted fortress. We made a massive tornado that's got um, lightning bolts coming off of it. We got a final concept which was from the art director, Ryan. We wanted to add like rocks to it. There's like subtle glows inside of the tornado itself to kind of show off that power coming out of it. And just trying to make it different to the visual effects that we've done at that stature. It's so Mano, ele joga a pedra and também. I wanted to make that feel threatening without dominating the entire mix. So I focused more on the textures that I added in. This kind of cool warbling texture that feels like the sound barrier is ripping as the tornado spins. The thunder also sounds different if you're up close versus further away. Nossa, que legal, more mano. Versus Muito really da hora isso, yeah. cara. So that was one of the most rewarding but challenging parts to work on for this voyage. And I'm really excited to hear what players think of it. We bring this new level of destruction to the gameplay. <gasps> we've had destruction in the past. Caraca, mano! Delivered, but for this time, we've really upped the scale. It was a major effort between environment art, tech. Nossa, art, vai destruir os fortes, velho. Play satisfaction that they've actually destroyed the environment that they're playing in. And as you destroy each one of the emplacements, um, the tornado will eventually disappear, and you have this bigger, massive, huge emplacement that you get to destroy and turn into dust as well. It was a huge technical achievement to bring all that together. The fact we need to be able to have ah, six crews at once um actually doing this in the same world is challenging in and of itself. So the fact they're able to do that, have all that working, have it all working in such a performant way, is very impressive. Cannonballs are flying everywhere, ghost ships are sailing through you, everyone's panicking. And the music sounds incredible, and the lighting is absolutely genial. It's genial. An incredible gosto, moment gosto. to kind of end the voyage, Mano, and where we give players a lot of the treasure. Que da hora você destruir uma fortaleza, né, com um navio, mano. Isso é, pai, isso é foda demais. A pai do céu, hora que essas pedras cair aí, bicho, vai travar os Xbox One tudo. Uh, aí eu gostei, tá? Ué, é o Bino? Ah não, eles são fantasma, né? Para que tem nova Codex, para que tem nova Codex, para que tem nova Codex. Eu estou muito emocionado para os jogadores, porque eu estou trabalhando nisso, então eu estou muito emocionado e acho que é muito legal. Esse é o cara que faz as músicas, né? E nós finalmente 
able to give it to them. So just being able to see their reactions and finally get what they asked for is really nice. It's great we finally be able to do it and really give it, really do it justice. It really does feel just like a completely new void type that we've never added in to Sea of Thieves before. I know our Pirate Legends have been waiting a long time for this exclusive content, but I believe the team has built something really special here and it'll be worth the wait. And they don't have to wait much longer now because it's coming out on April the 21st. Eu gostei para um caramba disso daqui, pai. Eu gostei muito, gostei muito, gostei muito. Gostei muito, velho. Eu sou babão. Gostei muito, filho. Gostei muito. Então, galera, essa daqui é a nova atualização que chega no dia 21 de abril pra Thank gente. Very... Thanks, John. Esse foi o react aqui que a gente fez na live. Depois eu vou fazer um vídeo detalhado tudo que a gente viu aí, dos mínimos detalhes disso daí. Mas daí eu vou fazer um outro vídeo de uma outra forma, onde a gente fala sobre essas histórias, né? Sem os comentários ali do pessoal, tá bom? Então muito obrigado aí, Targas, por ter traduzido aí o conteúdo pra gente, legendado aí na real. Obrigado aqui a galera do chat. Né, pela presença, bate palma chat Não Todo mundo aqui também do YouTube A galera do YouTube, a gente vai voltar com os membros aqui do YouTube e as recompensas No mês 5, a gente volta a fazer algumas lives aqui também pelo YouTube Inclusive, é, já no mês 5, a gente vai separar um cabrestante de obsidiana E alguns six packs que a gente vai sortear só para a comunidade de membros do YouTube Então, se você... Não assiste a gente na Twitch. Se você não acompanha o nosso conteúdo na Twitch, agora a gente vai estar tá mais perto de vocês aqui também no YouTube, tá bom? Não só eu, mas eu, Coffee Bean e Menino Feda, que vocês já devem conhecer com os vídeos que eles estão fazendo aqui no canal. Dale, tamo junto. Deixe seu like aqui, ative o sininho para não perder nenhuma notificação. E até o próximo vídeo.